Stories have the power to engage, inspire, and empower people. And you too can use storytelling in your marketing to reach and engage your customers and build a brand community. Here is how. For thousands of years, humans have used stories to build connections, to build trust, to build communities. And no matter where people are from, what language they speak, stories can still make us understand and relate to each other. Stories are also a great way for people to remember what we're saying. If you say something in a story form, it's much more likely to be remembered and retained by people than if you just told them a bunch of facts. So how can you use storytelling in your marketing to reach and engage clients and grow your business? First, you need to understand the structure of good stories. Every good story, every great story has the same structure. And it's that there is a character has a mission. No one wants to watch a story about the happy people in the happy village where nothing goes wrong and where no one wants to do anything. That would be such a boring story. So. The the first element of engagement in a story is that there is a goal. There is something the character wants. There is something the character is working towards achieving. And then to add another layer of engagement, there is an obstacle. There is a conflict. Something stands in the character's way to get what they want. And then to add another element of engagement, there are stakes. Something is at stake something could go wrong. The character might lose something dear to them if they don't overcome the obstacle and reach the objective. And this adds a sense of urgency. Because again, if you have a story about someone who wants something and there's a problem in their way, but the problem is not a big deal and they can wait to solve it and they can wait to achieve their goals, that won't be engaging as well. But if there's a sense of urgency, the character must overcome the obstacle right away, as soon as possible. Because if they don't, there are things at stake. There are things the character can lose. And then there is the action. The character must take action, must follow a plan, must start a journey towards overcoming the obstacle to achieve the goal and to avoid the stakes. And then after that, if they succeed, there is a transformation that happens. The character transforms. It's called the character arc. The character is now different at the end of the story than how they were at the beginning of the story. A transformation happened. So so every great story follows these elements. A character that has an objective that faces an obstacle with high stakes and takes action to overcome the obstacle, to achieve the objective and avoid the stakes and then have a transformation. You too in your business can use that same structure in your marketing when you are communicating with your customers. In this case, the customers are the hero of your story, of your brand story. They are the lead character and you are the supporting character, the guide, the person who's going to help them overcome the obstacle. So how can we translate the elements of storytelling into your marketing? So if the customer is the character, what goal do they have? What's the objective of your customer? And then what problem is facing them? Because the reason they are customers, the reason they are shopping for a product is because they have an obstacle facing them that's keeping them from getting to what they want. Want. And that's why they are potential customers. They want to find a solution. So who is your audience? They are the character, the main character in your story, the hero of your story. They have an objective. They have a need. They are facing a challenge and there is something at stake. If your customers don't solve the problem facing them and don't reach their goals, how is life going to look and feel for them? What's at stake? And then the solution is where you come in. You as a brand, as a business, you're your products and services should be the solution that helps your customers overcome the obstacle, achieve the objective, avoid the stakes, and then have a transformation. If you communicate with your customers in that way, if you build this narrative in all your marketing materials, your website, your downloadables, your marketing collateral, your uh, ads, everything you create that is customer facing that your customers are going to see, if you show them that you actually care about them, that you listen to them, that you know their pain, that you are aware of the problems they're having, and then position yourself, your products, and your services as the solution to the customer's problem, and then guide them towards achieving their goals and avoiding the stakes and accomplishing this transformation.
If you talk to them this way, you will build trust with them. You will build relationship with them. You will help them relate to you and you can relate to them and they will be much more likely to choose you over your competitors. So here's an example. Let's say you are a health and wellness coach that helps people overcome their anxiety. They have anxiety, it's affecting them, it's affecting their lives. If we apply the elements of storytelling, here's how it will look like. So your customer is the hero of the story. Your customer is someone who is struggling with anxiety. So what do they need? What's the objective? The objective is not just to be anxiety free. That's not enough. That's not engaging enough. The customer needs something else. They need fulfillment in their lives. They need to be courageous in, in how they lead their lives in, in, in business, in their families. They need to take action. They need to make decisions in their lives. And anxiety is keeping them, is robbing them from this freedom. So that's what they want. The problem is they have anxiety. The anxiety is keeping them from unleashing their full potential. And what's at stake? What's at stake could be that if they don't overcome the anxiety, they will feel crippled. They won't be able to make good decisions in life. They won't be able to advance in their careers. They might not be able to have stronger, healthier relationships, for example. And then what is the solution? The solution is your coaching. You're providing this coaching that helps them keep their anxiety under control. And then you're providing them with a clear plan, a clear path towards that goal. Your plan can be the steps of what they need to do to actually book a, a session with you, attending a workshop, downloading a, a guide. So there's a clear plan that you that you set up for your customers to see clearly how they can go from point A to point B. And then the transformation at the end is that they will be anxiety free or at least can control the anxiety and then they can have more ownership of their lives and more successes. So you're taking them from point A, which is someone who is struggling with anxiety to point B, which is someone who is successful, stress free, anxiety free in life. That's an example. And you can apply that in any industry, no matter what industry you're in, no matter what business you run, you can always, always, always build a narrative, an engaging narrative using storytelling to make the customer the center of your story and to position yourself, your products, your services as the solution and the guide to solving their problem. All right, so to recap, storytelling is so powerful. It helps us relate to one another, connect with each other, build trust, build communities, retain information. And if you use storytelling in your marketing, you are much more likely to reach and engage more clients and grow your business. So do you want to start a business or do you already have a business? Let me know in the comments what business do you have or want to start and how do you think you can use storytelling in your marketing?